What's up guys, Malachi here. Today I just wanted to talk a little bit about the prevalence of celebrities in commercials. More specifically, when the celebrity that is being featured has absolute, absolutely nothing to the commercial. Look, I understand why companies hire these people. Sometimes adding a celebrity will give your product credibility, or in some cases, a little bit of pizzazz, you know? Like, take for example these new ads for Mobile Strike that have popped up recently. Adding an Arnold Schwarzenegger makes the commercial better in a few ways. First and foremost, it's goddamn Arnold Schwarzenegger, a multi-million dollar blockbuster monster advertising for a phone app, which the premise just is incredible by itself. The second point being, he's relevant towards what the app is trying to convey. He's been in numerous movies where he was a soldier, general, spy, alien hunter, killer robot, well, what the fuck ever. You know, he's done everything at this point. My last point for this particular example would have to be that he actually does have pretty good comedic timing. Granted, his one-liners in these ads are extremely forced and perverted by quote-unquote hip commercial executives, but still, he's a funny guy. In summation, the inclusion of Arnold not only makes this commercial exponentially better, but funnier on a much deeper level. Now. Looking at the opposite end of the spectrum, we have a couple of commercials that have absolutely no reason to cast these celebrities. First commercial to look at is this Chrysler Lincoln ad. I'm not going to play the whole thing, but I'll leave a link in the description if you want to watch it. Now, this is a one minute long ad of Matthew McConaughey just kind of getting dressed and driving around for a little bit. But that's it. That's the whole commercial. That's all he does. There's absolutely no reason for McConaughey to be in this shit. Like, I get it. He's an attractive dude. I find myself swooning at his sense of style and charisma, and I understand that Chrysler is really just trying to inject these feelings into their car. It's branding. But come on, what the fuck? He adds absolutely nothing. This is just a company's way of saying, Hey, idiot, Matthew McConaughey drives a Lincoln. You should, too. Most commercials have an underlying message as well, but this one doesn't even subtly suggest if you drive this car that beautiful people will want to have sex with you. Like, where's the gratuitous sexual suggestiveness that if I buy this car, I get to coast through life on my good looks? It's just so pointless, and he adds nothing to the equation. Ugh, it's, it's, it's so frustrating. And this isn't even close to being the worst offender, and this stupid little trend of celebrities adding nothing to the product has been around for fucking ever. All right, let's look at another example. This time, nothing is actually being sold. Uh, all right, so this is a commercial for political correctness. Got it. So with this stupid fucking abomination of a TV spot, we have two girls that are shopping and looking at clothes. Cause they're girls. Yet again, I'm not gonna show the whole thing, but I will leave a link in the description. Anyways, one of the girls mentions that the outfit they're looking at is so gay, and they both shake their heads in unanimous fashion agreement. You can just see it on their faces, the pained look. This article of clothing that they're looking at is causing them mental distress just by being able to exist. And then we have the twist in the commercial. Hilary Duff has been in the store the whole time, just out of focus, and... She does her civic duty by walking over and scolding them for the term they used to describe the article of clothing. Now here's the thing. Why did Ad Council, or whoever the fuck commissioned this waste of time commercial, decide on this somewhat popular, at the time, singer to convey the, their message of social justice? Now this, this commercial is from 2010, so I guess it has a little bit more levity. What, but what credentials does Hillary have, other than being pretty, to tell other people what to say or do? She has absolutely no stake in this situation. Is she gay? Doesn't look like it. In fact, here's a list of people that Hillary Duff has dated. Oh, weird. There's no women on that list. So anyways, the commercial wraps up with uh, Hillary the hero telling one of these girls that she's basically a dipshit because she's wearing a skirt for a top. Boom. Roasted. Stupid fucking shopping teenager girl. So the moral of the story 
I guess, is to be more aware of your surroundings, because you might have an eavesdropping pop star with a self-righteous attitude in the same ramshackle with a shitty little bargain bin store you shop at. Now those are just two examples of this stupid fucking trend that's been going on for way too long, but it extends into every avenue of advertisement. The reason it makes me so angry when companies just lazily try to brand their product by hiring an actor, singer, or athlete, or any other famous person for that matter, is that they're just essentially calling you a fucking moron. They're preying on our, or they're preying on us not being able to think for ourselves and hoping that the celebrity worship, which I will admit is fucking astonishing in this country, will sell the product. Seriously, just because someone famous says something does not give it more gravity. Like if a Kardashian were to tell people that it's cool to drink pesticide, I bet you we would lose like 20% of our population overnight. With that being said, I think the new iPhone's coming out, so I'm gonna go camp in line for three weeks. Alright guys, peace out.